If you come down here to visit Florida, are you going to encounter an alligator? In this video, we'll tell you all about Florida alligators. Welcome everyone, I'm Mark. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to ask that you click my face in the corner to subscribe. And today we are going to tell you all about alligators. It's one of the most common questions I get from people back home in Wisconsin. Mark, since you moved there, do you see alligators all over the place? And the simple answer is, sort of. It really depends on where you are in Florida. I live in southwestern Florida, and I can tell you, I see alligators on an almost daily basis. There's at least three or four right in my community. We have waterways, uh, little kind of man-made canals in a lake, and there's one alligator I see all the time. At least I think it's the same alligator. He's always, well, or she, is always in the same area. Relatively big alligator. We'll talk about the size of alligators in just a little bit. But this alligator is always seen in the same uh, area, the same general area. And I did a little research and I found that alligators do tend to be territorial. So there's a very good chance that this alligator is the same one. Although I have seen up to two, up to three, up to three alligators all at the same time. So I know there's at least three living here. Or do I? Because alligators are known to be able to travel as far as five miles in a single night. Typically that's looking for a water source. Now right now as I make this video, it's May and it's been a rather dry season and the water levels are way down. So it wouldn't surprise me if new alligators are coming in trying to find a source for water even though there's plenty of water around here. So let's back up a little bit and talk about exactly where might you see alligators and how many are there. Well, I was recently watching a video of someone that lived in Orlando their entire life, and they said they have never seen a wild alligator. Outside of places like Gatorland, they've never seen an alligator. And I find that so hard to believe. Now, I'm not saying they're lying. I just find that so hard to believe because I see them regularly. And I can tell you if anyone ever comes to visit me, I know exactly where I could take people to see alligators in the wild. There are a lot of alligators in Florida. By some estimates, there's anywhere between 1 million to 1.25 million alligators in Southern Florida. Now, by way of comparison, there's only about 90,000 doctors. So you're about 12 times more likely to see an alligator in Florida than you are to see a doctor. Okay, I know statistics don't work that way, but it just really shows you how common alligators really are here. But of course, there's going to be areas where alligators are just more common. I live very close to the Everglades, and as I said, I know one place where they even have a viewing platform where you can go and see literally dozens of alligators. As a matter of fact, in one video, I actually took you there. I will link that video here. And I went a little further down the road. I followed the same river where the viewing platform is, but I just kind of went on my own. And I found this one area where it opened up into a little bit of a, a broader swamp or pond, whatever you want to call it. And I would see one alligator, then two, then three, then eight, then 10. While I was looking at all these alligators, I failed to notice down at my feet, not four feet away from me, was an alligator. Now, it was a good three, four feet below me, but I wasn't safe, and here's why. For the most part, alligators are not going to attack humans. What do they eat? They eat fish. They eat small mammals. There are so many rabbits around my area, and I'm sure a lot of them end up as a meal for an alligator. Usually they don't go after something as big as a human being. More often than not, if you get near an alligator, they'll swim away. When I looked down, this alligator was not swing, swimming away. He was not swimming toward me either. He was just floating there with his eyes above the water. You can see it in the video. 
And I moved away. Alligators seem slow. They seem sluggish. But had he wanted to, even though alligators typically don't attack a human being unprovoked, he could have jumped out of there and grabbed onto my leg very, very easily. Within the first 20 to 30 feet, alligators can outrun a human. So if you go near the water's edge, just stay away from alligators. They're probably not gonna attack you. Since like the late 60s, there have been on record about 400 alligator attacks. Well, that's over 50 years. So, you know, that's about less than 10 a year. So it's very unlikely you're gonna get attacked by an alligator. But you don't wanna provoke an attack. Stay away from an alligator. They're fun to watch. Watch them from a distance. They're also very easy to overlook, which is why you gotta be careful. If you're near those rivers, near those swamps, keep your eyes open, because sometimes it's just those two ping pong ball eyes that are above the surface. Now, this time of year, April, May, June, as I'm making this video, alligators can be particularly aggressive because it's mating season. So one more reason to keep your distance. How can you tell the female alligator from the male? You really can't. Unless you're willing to cut one of them open and do an internal examination, you really can't tell a female alligator from a male. If you see one that's really big, 12, 13, 14 feet long, there's a good chance that's a male alligator because they do grow larger. Now, I think the one in my neighborhood's big. It's about seven or eight feet long. That's nothing compared to a full grown alligator. Uh, they've been known to grow up to like 17 feet long. So that's, that's a big animal, up to 800 pounds. Uh, the one in my neighborhood, I think he's big enough. That's the biggest alligator I want to encounter. And I keep my distance. Don't get close to them. Alligators will, after they mate in April to June, they lay eggs then in July and August. They will protect the nests. There are some very brave souls that'll go in there. I'm talking primarily things like raccoons and they'll try to get those eggs. But boy, I wouldn't want to be the raccoon that gets caught by mama alligator. Now alligators rely on outside heat sources. That's why you will so often see them on the banks of the rivers or the banks of the lakes. That's often where I see, I'm gonna call them my alligator because I see them so often. I, when I walk to the post office in the morning, probably once every two or three days, I can be pretty sure I'm going to see him. And that's why I have so much footage of this particular alligator. And half the time he's sunning himself. The other half, he's just swimming around the waterway, minding his own business. And I let him do that. So uh, they will often come up to the shoreline and let the sun bake them because they need that heat from the sun to regulate their bodies. They're most active when the temperature is between 80 and 90 degrees, which is why Florida, Southern Florida, is so perfect for an alligator because the temperature is between that 80 to 90 degree range pretty often. Uh, matter of fact, today it's probably not quite 80, but I think it'll get there before the day is out. As much fun as they are to watch from the distance, from a viewing platform, from a bridge, or even you know, across uh, someone's lawn or something from a distance, you don't want to get close to them because they may feel like just jumping up and, and grabbing your ankle. If that happens, make a lot of noise, pound on them. They're pretty powerful animals and you don't want to get dragged into the water by one of these. Now, a lot of the things I said sounded kind of scary. Let me put your mind at ease. Alligator attacks against humans are extremely rare. And if you keep your distance, it'll be almost zero. So have fun. Enjoy the Florida alligators. Get some good pictures. Don't bother them, and they'll probably not bother you. If you want to see an alligator, almost any fresh water area from drainage ditches to rivers, canals, uh, ponds, lakes, 
any of those areas are likely to have alligators. Every now and then, they even show up in people's swimming pools. So next time you come down to Florida, ask around. Some of the locals might even be able to point to areas where you're likely to see an alligator. They're an awful lot of fun, and one of the things that I enjoy about Florida living. Thanks for watching everyone. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon up above. That way you'll know when I post new videos. I'm Mark, and this is The Average Me Channel.